Alright guys, so um, here we are, PES 2014 demo. Um, looks pretty nice, um, new interface here as you can see. And uh, yeah, gonna go straight into an exhibition match. Um, decided that I'm gonna play as Bayern Munich and uh, probably go up against Manchester United. That's what I thought, so. Now, as you can see, there's some international teams that you, that you can play as and whatnot, and uh, a few club teams there. Um, the interface looks nice, uh, pretty much almost the same as 2013. I'm going to go for professional difficulty just to start off here. Uh, put the substitutes up to 6 or whatever. Um, game plan, game plan looks pretty much the same as 2013, 2012 and whatnot. And, uh, and 2011 for that matter. Um, you can change the stadium. I think I'm not. I'm not entirely. I haven't had a look at the stadiums. As far as I'm aware, there's only one. There's the Allianz Arena for Bayern Munich. You can also change the strips there and whatnot. You can't change the ball because it's just the demo. And um, we've also got a training option as well. So there's that as well. You can try out. I have to say these presentations are absolutely amazing. Um, no, you know what I mean, over the years with the presentations, Pez has, you know what I mean, they've just improved, improved, and they're just, you know, they're, they're just as good as the last one. Um, and you know what I mean, you know, top marks for, for, for realism and whatnot, you know what I mean, they're doing a great job uh, making everything look uh, real and whatnot. And here we go. So... Very uh, nice here, yeah, nice graphics and whatnot. Yeah, some of the players um, got quite a lot of detail on them, like when you look at them and that. And uh, I've even I've played a few matches. I've played um, some like some of the internationals, and they do like all the international uh, themes and whatnot, and go through the players. As they're sort of singing the national anthem, which is a nice touch, and whatnot. You know what I mean? The presentations each year just, yeah, it's just great. And that. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to kick off here. Quite looking forward um, to see if there's going to be any kind of like patches for the game and whatnot when it's fully out. Um, so yeah. So um, yeah. Um, everything looks really good with this game so far. I don't know what I was thinking here. The ball just runs out of play. But um you know, just trying to get used to the controls and whatnot. The animations uh, in the game th there's a lot more animation in it and whatnot. Um I would say the only thing is that that um, I'm sort of having trouble with in the game is that I played it a few times and I found that I keep losing possession quite a lot. But I'm losing possession quite a lot but it's, it seems easy to get back possession and it, it's, it's kind of a weird thing cause it, because it, I'm losing possession a lot I'm getting it back easy because I'm getting it back easy I'm losing it a lot kind of thing it's kind of weird but um, other than that like that's probably my, my one of my only problems with it as you can see him tries to get through on goal here I should have just shot right there but I didn't held off it too long but yeah, I thought I'd do like Bayern Munich, man. You, there's quite a few teams. There's Santos. Um, there's oh, some other teams I can't think of. I think uh, River was it River Plate or Boca? And uh, I score here. <laughs> um, I would, did not expect that to go in. So I took it away from the keeper and then put it over him. It was a very weird goal, but um, off to a winning start already, which is pretty nice. Um, if I were to compare this game to say, you know, some of the old PES games like PES 5 or PES 6, you, you, you know, it feels almost sort of the same, you know, gameplay in a sense and uh, and whatnot. But like obviously there's a, there's a lot more things in there that change it and make it feel a lot different, like the animations and whatnot. There's a lot of animation, like, like it feels so much different from PES 2013, like in in a good way as well, because I know for a fact that 2013, even 2012 had its problems, and uh, it looks like they've done a, a lot more with it this time around. So I do have good things to say. As you can see here, the um, replays go a bit slow here, and 
yeah, what what happened is I took it away from the goalkeeper like that, and then just turned, and it sort of like hit his knee, and then bounced over him and went into the bottom corner. It was it was very strange, but um, yeah, not bad at all. Not a bad start. Well, that's put him in the driving seat, but there's a lot of football left in this one yet, believe me. But, uh, yeah, you know, the, the passing, mm, passing feels pretty much, it feels, a, it feels a bit different. It feels all right. Um, you know, I'm just trying to think back to, like, 2013. I've played 2013 for a long time. Um, feels all right. feels a bit different, but, you know. Uh, right here, I try to I try to have a look to see if you can change their game speed settings because it feels a bit slow, but uh, obviously can't do that. Um, I decided that I'd put the stamina gauge bar on, you know, because that was switched off and that. So you know what I mean? There's quite a few settings. I'm assuming in the in the full game you'll be able to change the game speed because um, I like to have fast gameplay when it comes to football games. I can't stand slow gameplay. Um, you know, I mean, maybe that's one factor why, I, you know, I'm maybe losing possession a bit is because it feels like I'm just my passing's going a bit slow and they're just getting the ball back. And I don't know how I got away without booking there. <laughs> and uh, um, like Van Persie on this game feels pretty fast. You know what I mean? Uh, when he's been like uh, playing against us, kind of he feels. Yeah, you know I mean, it feels like it, uh, some of the players run a bit quicker and that, but you can actually feel the um, like the acceleration in the players as well when they when they start um, start making a run. Like they they start off slow and then they get faster as they start running, uh, which is a bit more realistic. Um, which is always always nice, you know, a little thing there that they've added. Uh, bring the keeper out, gather that one up. And all I saw, that's a new thing that you can do. Uh, if you, I, I'm assuming when you double tap the button when with the goalkeeper, it will do like a fake throw out, um, which is which is kind of nice actually because it looks like they fixed that because sometimes in the older Pez games when you try to throw the ball out with the keeper, it 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 just the goalkeeper just stands there and just doesn't do anything and it just kicks it out automatically for you which feels a bit weird. Um, so I don't know that's just that's something else there which is pretty nice. But yeah, I mean. Apart from, I just, my only really complaint is just like sometimes I just keep losing possession. It's like some of the animations take quite long, possibly. I don't know if it's just me or what, but sometimes they, they, they take, it feels like they're taking a bit too long to, you know, to perform some of the animations. And by the time it's performed, it, the other team's got the ball back because they, they were just taking too long. And that's what it just feels like sometimes. I mean, maybe on not in this match you'll, you'll see it. This was my first ever match I played on the game. But like I played a few other games with it as well, and it just feels kind of that way. There's a shot there, and the goalkeeper parried that one. Now I don't know. I don't. I haven't really had enough shots at goal from what I've played to see if they fix the goalkeepers keep parrying the ball all the time. But now you see there was another goal there. I thought that was offside, but we scored it, so I can't complain. <laughs> I mean, it feels like they, you know, some of the players, you know, they, they kind of like, almost, like kind of get back into form almost, sometimes, like, it's kind of hard to explain, it's like, you, you can force them to make runs and attack and whatnot, but it, it feels like they, they're getting themselves into better positions and it kind of feels like they're thinking for themselves almost, from what I've played so far, I mean, I haven't played too many games, but... But um, like I said, you know, I mean, uh, I love it when the you know the new PES games are out and whatnot. And um, you know, I mean, I'm I'm I don't know. I would say I'm a, I'm a bit iffy on it because like after this game, this was a really good match for us. But like after this, like I've had two games where like I haven't scored um, just because I keep losing the position too much and whatnot. But like you know, I think I'll probably end up getting the full game 
anywhere, you know, I could do a Master League or whatever. Um, hopefully there will be um, patches, to, you know, to edit all the kits and whatnot eventually out soon. Um, so that'll be nice. Decided what I'm going to do here is, is just have a kind of look at my team and I uh, think I'm going to bring on Robin just to have a look what the, um, have a look like kind of like what the substitutes look like, substitute scenes or whatever. Um, obviously nothing happens, it just goes to a black screen there, so, but never mind. But I don't know, I'm just hoping that, it, like I say, in the full game, the, the, the game speed will be a bit, you know, you'll be able to change that and you'll be able to sort of like, you know, it'll feel a bit different by doing that for me, personally. And uh, yeah, but overall, a positive thing. You can you can see the difference. You kind of have to play it for yourself to sort of see the differences between this and the uh, PES 2013. Because like when I got PES 2013 for the first time, I thought it was it was amazing. And that, but after a while, it just kind of gets a bit too repetitive. Without a, a game like say PES 5 or 6, it just never dies with me. It's just too addictive. But um, there's a shot there, a Kaling shot there, just because it was on target um, and whatnot. I mean, like I haven't had time to sort of experiment too much with different shots or chip shots or whatever yet. But I don't know. Maybe if I get the chance to. Um, And whatnot, but the, like the gameplay feels a lot different. And if a match uh, on the demo ends in a draw, uh, it doesn't go to extra time or penalties, so that's that. Looks like Manu should have scored right there, but goalkeeper to it. And again, the uh, fake throw out there. I kind of, I kind of like that little thing that they've put in there. It's quite nice. Um, you know, what I mean, I could see that being quite useful in competitive play, I guess. And like, I don't know how I got away with that. I just do not know how I got away with that. It looks like it should have been a free kick there. But uh, yeah, o overall, I mean, this, this I, I mean, I guess you could say possibly some of the goals that I scored were kind of lucky, especially the first one, you know, with the goalkeeper was on the floor and I took it away and put it over him somehow. Um, and then the second one looked like it should have been offside, but uh, it's just squeezed it in the bottom corner. It looks like the goalkeeper should have saved that second goal, but nevertheless, um, no, quite quite positive things, you know, just one or two minor complaints there, but we'll, you know, we'll see when the full game's out and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, not too bad, not too bad, kind of impressed, nice graphics, gameplay improved, um, you know, extra little touches that here and there, obviously the interface changes pretty much every year as well. But anyway guys, thanks for watching this video and see you guys next time.